We're speaking with Andy Major, who is the coordinator for the Turo Wampum Renewal Campaign, which will be coming through this Hudson Valley this summer. Um, Andy, tell us a little bit about what it is and what can people expect. Okay. The Turo Wampum Renewal Campaign is an educational and advocacy effort that started as a partnership between the Onondaga Nation and neighbors of the Onondaga Nation, a group that I work with. And we seek to bring to the people of New York State the 400th anniversary of the first treaty between Native Americans and Europeans, the Turo Wampum Treaty. It's a treaty that describes the two peoples as traveling down the river of life side by side in peace and friendship forever. So we need people to understand that we have not kept up our side of this agreement and that now is an opportunity for us to do that, uh, to keep up the agreements, to do justice with the, the Haudenosaunee, and to work together to protect the earth. And as part of this, we'll be traveling down the Hudson River this summer from Albany to New York City in the manner of the two row. One row of paddlers, Haudenosaunee and other native peoples, and side by side a row of non-native paddlers, bringing to life that vision of peace and friendship forever. And there's many ways that people can get involved and join us. If you check out our website, honortheturo.org, you can find out much more information. And what about tonight? What is the event that's taking place at SUNY New Paltz? Tonight's event is called Sharing the River of Life. Uh, the featured speaker is Onondaga faith keeper Oren Lyons, who will talk about the history of the treaties and about the obligation that we all have to live up to those treaties, to honor them truly, <clears throat> and the environmental crises that we face that call on all of us to work together to build a sustainable future for all the people on this planet Earth as well as the other creatures that we share it with.
remind everybody, remind your leaders, remind your government, hey, we've got treaties. We made agreements. We've got a whole United States because of these agreements. At least if you don't pull up your hand. We keep our word. All we're asking you to keep yours. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. The only way to do that, folks, is get in your boat, get in your canoe, and let's go down there and let's talk to our leaders and say, if we don't collectively get together, <clears throat> our future right now is a human species. We're not going to go too far. We need to be united on this one. And it can't be just here, it's got to be in France, and it's got to be in Russia, and it's got to be in China, because this is a global problem requiring a global solution. And you better talk to your leaders. You better get serious, because this is our children now. This is our future. This is our responsibility. This is a time. Circumstances choose the time we don't. We have to rise to the occasion. We have to rise to the occasion. And it can be fun. It can be good. But it always was. And what was the intent of peace and friendship? Not just for us, but for the whole world. It's our responsibility. We can do it. Now what's the option? If we don't, what's the option? History is important. And the nation's honor and integrity is in the promises they have. And it's in your name. And you have the right to demand that they hold to that. We not only have the right to demand our responsibility to the future of your children, the future of this country, and every other country in the world. Just put aside whatever it is they're talking about. Just can't afford wars anymore. Can't afford it. Let's cash in about four of those war planes that are $2 billion a piece and take care of the health, the health of this country. Just cash a couple of them in. We got them piled up and lined up. It's expensive to keep the biggest one in the world. A lot better than that if you have peace. Well, I would say it's easier. <laughs> it is hard. Peace is hard. Peace is a, a it's light against dark. Peace demands effort. It always demands that you have to do something. Because if you don't, 